Welcome, in front of me is a yellow phone Armor 3W and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you will be presented with the aptly named uh, Hi There screen. So from here, let's just simply select our language, which you can find from the list, uh, although I'm going to stick with English. And from there, you want to tap on Start. Here you will have the option to connect your, uh, or insert your SIM card to connect to a mobile network. But there is a little caveat to it. You will need this uh, screwdriver. It comes with a device in the box, so you can find it in one of those little boxes there. Uh, that will be needed so you can actually remove the plate right here where, where you will insert your SIM card or SD card, whichever one you want. So anyway, I'm not going to be doing that right now, obviously. Um, so I'm going to select skip. The moment you insert your SIM card, it will work just fine, so there is no need to worry about it. Then we have connect to Wi-Fi. Again, you can skip this if you don't have any kind of accessible Wi-Fi near you, uh, which I need to do is stop here. D and uh, if you skip it, uh, you will lose out the ability to log into your uh, Google account and restore the device from my backup, which can still be done later on after the setup is complete. All you need to do is go into the settings and from there connect to Wi-Fi and uh, connect to your account. Then on the next page, we'll have the time and date. Now this will not be seen uh, if you have connected to Wi-Fi. This is only if you chose to skip connecting to Wi-Fi. So here you will have to set up date and time uh, manually. So I could go and select it myself. Um, it's actually, actually it's correct for the most part, assuming I changed the time zone. So let's go to next. Then we have Google services. So briefly going over them, a use location allows the device to use GPS tracking for apps, for instance, like Google Maps. So they give you an accurate route to your destination. It is also being used uh, by apps that shouldn't have any business in it, like for instance, Xiaomi smart apps, uh, smart home uh, precisely, uh, which uh, for instance, the thermometer needs to know where you are for some uh, unknown reason. Uh, so again, you can turn it off here. Also, when you turn it off, uh, the location that Disables also scanning. Uh, scanning basically allows the device to scan for nearby devices, uh, things like Wi Fi, Bluetooth devices, so it sees them. Then below that, we have send user and diagnostic data. So this basically gathers data on how you use the device and sends it to Google. Again, if you don't want it, disable it. Scroll down, accept, and this will take us to the next page where we can protect our device. So it looks like it automatically opts into a fingerprint. So if you tap next, it will prompt you to set up a pin pattern or password because you cannot have just a fingerprint assuming something happens with it you would basically lose access to your device so that's why there's uh, other means of unlocking your device so from here you can select for instance something like pattern uh, it gives you secure startup option uh, personally i would tell you to not use it now what it does uh, is basically when your device uh, is turned off and you are turning it on before it actually boots into Android, it will go into like this lock screen, which you will need to well put in your pin, pattern, password, at which point it will then finish up booting up. So once it boots up, you will be back in the lock screen of Android, which you will have to confirm your, uh, your pattern, pin, password once more to actually gain access to the device. So basically it requires you to put in your password, passcode twice in a row for literally no reason. So I'm gonna select no. And from here we can input our protection. So I chose patterns, that's what I'm gonna draw, a pattern. I'm gonna tap next, repeat the same pattern, confirm it, and that will set it up. Now it tells me uh, to scan my finger on the fingerprint sensor, which is somewhere right here, but I'm gonna just skip it because I just wanted to have a uh, pattern and not really a fingerprint. So I'm gonna skip anyway. Wireless updates, uh, so let's just uh, agree to these, we do have to, and then accept and continue. That was loud. Um, and once you do, you, are, you can see we are now on the home screen. And that is basically how you go through the setup of this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.